welcome to Arabesque Agenda, the show that will let you know all the amazing events that are coming up in the arts and culture life of London and the Middle East. First up, let's take a look at what's on in London. The documentary Some of the Palestinians will be screening at the BFI in South Bank. The film, directed by legendary filmmaker Mamoun Hassan, is a recount over Mamoun's 18th month of turmoil he found himself in when the Lebanese war started in Beirut in the 70s and he just happened to be there. The film will be screening on Friday 19th of June and after the screening you will have a chance to meet Mamoun at a Q&A. For more information, you can click on whatson.bfi.org.uk. Voila! A new play will be performing at the New Diorama Theatre. The play explores the themes of loyalty, family and politics surrounding the current crisis of Syria. The middle-aged pharmacist and government supporter Walla lives on the outskirts of Damascus and returns to collect his things from the small chemist shop where he makes a shocking discovery that leaves him faced with a terrible choice. Walla will be playing on Sunday the 22nd and Monday 23rd of June and for tickets and information you can go to newdiorama.com. First London Group exhibition of Algerian artists will take place at Mosaic Rooms in Kensington. The exhibition is called Intervening Space, From the Intimate to the World, and features works from Faisal Bagrish, Amina Minya, Atef Berdem, Hanan Benamar, Masinissa Selmani, and Sadek Rahim. Working in a range of media, their work explores time and space. The exhibition will be accompanied by a series of talks and events. And the exhibition is on until Saturday, 28th of June. And you can find all the information you need on mosaicrooms.org. Now, let's take a look at what's up in the Middle East. In Morocco, the 20th edition of the Fez Festival will kick off with the theme of the Conference of the Birds, Journey of Culture. The Fez Festival of World Sacred Music is one of the signature events of the spirit of the Fez Foundation. The aim of the festival is to harness the arts and spirituality in the service of human and social development and the relationship between different cultures. This year's festival will run until Saturday the 21st of June and for more information just click on to fezfestival.com. Another response to the Syria conflict in the art world, this time in the form of the group exhibition Syria's Apex Generation in IAM Gallery in Beirut and Dubai. The show features recent works by artists Nihad Al Turk, Abdul Karim, Majda Al Baik, Othman Musa, Mohanad Oravi, and Kais Salman. The exhibition will spotlight a new school of Syrian painting in the midst of expansion despite the complete disintegration of the Damascus art scene, its original center. The show will be held at I Am Gallery in Dubai and Beirut until Saturday, 2nd of August, and you can find more information at IamGallery.com. Now, it's time to take a look at who is our Artist of the Week. Straight from the Saharawi desert and into our souls, the beautiful and talented singer and percussionist Aziz Ibrahim takes the throne to the Artist of the Week. This lovely lady hymns the tunes of her home of West Sahara so beautifully she has sang her way right into the hearts of people around the world. This is what she had to say when we met her last. Uh, for me, the, the most important thing that I hope my music can achieve is for the message of our struggle, for them to go away with the message of my struggle, my people's struggle. Uh, my songs are in their base songs of sorrow, so songs of pain, but that doesn't mean that I can't deliver them with an uplifting musical uh, base to them. And so uh, I want people to enjoy themselves and to kind of celebrate my culture. I can just say that I'm, I'm a positive person and I like to look forward, ahead, and, you know, I came from very difficult beginnings where my mother was carrying me in her, in her belly and, I, and, and gave birth to me in, in exile. So I come from, you know, very 
a difficult route with a lot of as a lot of other people and I'm not expecting to be comforted in my life but what what I really would hope for is that I can have a voice and that my people can have a voice so that they are not left in the state of oblivion and that their dreams to to return to their homeland can really be fulfilled one day Thank you so much for joining us. We hope your diary will allow you to visit one of these wonderful works and that you will have a splendid evening. See you next week for more tips on where to see the best events from the Middle East and North African communities here in the UK and the Middle East. Till then, take good care. <laughs>